Um, so I was on the run for a little bit, and then, you know, I started to recognize my worth after being in a domestic abusive relationship for many years. So I began to utilize what I had been through in my praying and my reaching out to the high God and utilizing music to heal myself and, and, and also the scripture, the word is what saved me. So utilizing that scripture and, and you know cleansing my spirit and music, I founded the Young Star Movement, which we, we utilize our platform as music. You know, sometimes we hear a song that can bring a good memory or a new song can reflect on a new beginning. Oh, right. exactly. So that's what it's, you know, that's what the Young Stone Foundation is about. It's about healing the soul and teaching and mentoring with music. That's the platform. Mm -hmm. However, um, I've also utilized programs. The program, the main program is, you know, when we go through something, it's about um, utilizing that situation to give someone else hope. Um, I truly believe that when we go through something, it's not about us. And sometimes we have to, you know, go through it just to, ju just to, you know, just to get through it and go through it and give it to somebody else. Yeah. So and look for the lesson in it. The lesson. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Right. And so, you know, this abusive relationship became habit forming for me. You know, it was a habit that I just didn't. It's, it's like any other habit. It's like an addictive habit. You know, people say, why don't, why didn't you leave? Well, because you know, you're so accustomed to that, it becomes habit forming and addictive. Right. Um, just like uh, I was mentioning about Felicia Blakely, she kept saying that nobody ever said the things that he said to her. Nobody looked at her the way she, um, he looked at her. So that became addictive for her, and she always wanted that. So in order to get that look and to get those words, she kept doing whatever it is that he yes. wanted her to do. Yes. Yeah. So um, music is the universal language that we all understand. Amen. And you're going to have so many people at this event performing. Matter of fact, one of them is here with us. What's his name? Danglin. 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 What yes. kind of um, music can we expect from you, Danglin? Well, I do uh, reggae music. Yeah, reggae, I'm a reggae music. Musician. All yeah. right. So okay. That's and who basically else? What I do. Who else will we? Uh, we have Carolyn to? Harding. Carolyn Harding will be performing. We also mm -hmm. have a group of you know Carolyn Harding is old school Paradise Garage days. We Ooh. have Joey Yanos, who is the Paradise Garage reunion founder, oh, and we have cool. Sadiq from Soul Summit. Those are the two guys on the sound. And then we have a group of dancers, and we have a little bit of surprises, you know, a little surprises we don't want to get into. But um, those are the main featured people on this event. It's going to be it's lovely. Purple in the Park. Yes. Now, are you encouraging people to wear purple? I'm encouraging people to wear purple. Yes, that would be awesome because, yeah. you know, the color for the, the color. Uh, victims of the, oh, domestic violence in itself is right. a soft purple or a hot pink. Mm -hmm. those, and those colors envision light and clarity and clearance. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so we'd like to utilize that. We, it's like we're going to paint the park purple. I will tell you that we will definitely start out with a Prince purple rain. Oh, they, yes. We couldn't have it any other way. Yes. You know? Absolutely. And shouts to Purple Rain. Purple Rain in New Jersey is a shelter. For women, wow! Purple rain, but it's spelled R E I G N. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh. So um, we invite you all to come on out to Central Park as well, Purple Rain, and enjoy a day of engagement, unity, love, and hope. This is in Central Park from three to eight uh, this Saturday, uh, rain or shine. That's okay. Right. So you come and join the Young Star Movement. Now, for somebody who's listening who can't be a part of this Saturday. How can they still help the movement? They can help the movement just by reaching out to us. They can go to the website, which is www.youngstar2rsmovement.org, or they can reach out. They can go to my Facebook page, which is Young Star Movement, Inc., Domestic Violence Awareness. They can call me. I'm available at all times. I never turn it off for anyone at any time. They can call me at 877-702-4172. God bless you. God bless you, you. And your work. And thank you for using your story to reach back and pull uh, women who are very much in need forward. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so Young much, Star. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, it's funny. That's my, um, that's my line.